What you are about to witness is a failed comparison of the Bible by atheist bionic dance. If you follow the Bible, does that make you a bookie? <laughs> Let's do this. Sadly, so here we can mess. There is a book I've read that has changed my life. It led me to where I am today. I find this statement interesting. Here's why. This book she's speaking of is Stranger in a Strange Land. Heinlein was an atheist, yet Bionic Dance encourages her audience to think. Bionic herself is philosophically and psychologically influenced by a work of science fiction. She compares the book of the Bible. Is there a comparison? No. Since while theists specifically Christians are influenced by it, it's not fiction. The Bible is fact. Let me tell you about it. It's about a young man who is born under unusual circumstances, with amazing powers, who comes to us to teach, to heal, to bring humanity together. If you compare the character of the story to Christ in which she is attempting to do, you will see there is no comparison because they both are very much different. The main character is a product of adulterous affair. His mother's husband kills her afterwards. There is no comparison between Christ and Mike. He tells us he tells us to love one another, tells us that we're we're all connected. But when the humans who follow other traditions hear of him and his activities, he's put to death. And in remembrance of him, they eat of his flesh, and a religion is born. False comparison. Since the main character is spreading a kind of free love of the 60s mantra, they call it Grok, which is essentially to have free sex with one another. So as you can see, she's falsely comparing that to the life of Christ. While Heinlein borrowed much of the religion, or ripped off I should say, this is still science fiction. Bionic is using it for her philosophy. I love this book. It changed my life. It led me to atheism. So we can see Bionic didn't come up with her objections all by herself. She didn't think for herself. She was influenced by a work of fantasy. Her philosophy has led her to believe that the Bible is a fantasy as well. But I will show evidence that the Bible has what Stranger in a Strange Land never will. But let me ask you something. If a book like this can be fiction and can affect me so strongly, then why do I have to assume that this book is true? We don't assume the Bible is true, we know it is true. There is a difference, Bionic. See, unlike Heinlein's book, the Bible has evidence for its validity. There is historical evidence, archaeological evidence, forensic evidence of the Bible's accuracy and truth. I mean, books are nothing more than humans putting their thoughts on paper. They say nothing about reality unless backed by evidence themselves. Okay, so let's get this straight. If books are nothing more than thoughts on paper, say nothing about reality, and then we can't take it seriously without evidence to back it up. The Bible speaks of reality and has outside evidence to support it, and you don't believe it. Yet the book Stranger in a Strange Land is thoughts on paper, has no evidence for it, and says nothing about reality, since it's a fantasy and that influence you. Where is the logic in that? So you can't use the Bible as evidence of anything other than humans having one hell of an imagination. It says nothing about the real world. The Bible says everything about the real world. It speaks of life situations. It's historical accuracy at its finest. It even has science in it. The Bible addresses these issues of science. So quit trying to use the Bible as anything other than your religion's rule book, and quit running on automatic. Instead, please, think.
hears that ironic statement again. Bionic continually advocates that atheism is a default position. You're born an atheist, and that is an automatic position. Indeed, I would agree with her on that. Stop running on automatic. Atheism and think. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.